And for the first time, people who were sexually abused during their time as Boy Scouts have the chance to file a claim for financial compensation. It comes with the National Boy Scouts of America declaring bankruptcy. News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan explains what this means for local victims. I've had this frame since, since the 90s. I, I'm proud to be a Boy Scout. Scott Coates isn't alone. Less than a month after he Don't publicly accused the former mayor of Weedsport, his scoutmaster, of sexually abusing him as a 13-year-old scout, his attorney was contacted by a second person with similar accusations and was made aware of a third. To the people that knew about this in Weedsport, I want you to come forward and clear your conscience. You know this was happening. I spoke to people who admitted it. Vic Sain was a serial predator that abused a number of kids over a number of years. Do you expect more to come forward? I do, I do, unfortunately. Now any victim can file a claim with the Boy Scouts of America as part of its Chapter 11 bankruptcy. On a website dedicated to the Scouts reorganization, leaders say the goal is to, quote, equitably compensate victims who were harmed during their time in scouting and continue carrying out its mission for years to come. What bankruptcy is geared towards is dealing with financial matters. And so when you think about large corporations going into bankruptcy and reorganizing, all that they're looking at are the financial matters within that organization. And they're not very well equipped to look at child protection measures, which is what we and the survivors are after here in making sure that the thousands of names of the perpetrators and scouting that they know about are made public. This attorney representing local victims calls it a cop-out. In Syracuse, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9.